Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for an Australian Canadian blend shave today and I'm using Coolabar from Australian Private Reserve. One of my favourite scented soaps if I'm honest, it's just a beautiful pineapple scent with a little slight bit of cologne thing going on in the background and it is made as a compliment to Creed Aventus. This is not a clone of Creed Aventus, it's not meant to smell like Creed Aventus, it's just meant to compliment Creed Aventus prior to applying Creed Aventus. So the scent on this, Scent strength's a good five, and it is a real sort of zingy, pineapple sort of note. It's just beautiful. I really absolutely love it. And this has also got menthol on it, so it's got a lovely cooling effect. And as you can probably see, it's nice and bright in here. The sun is out, it's not a cloud in the sky, and it's about 25 degrees. So let's get stuck in. So I've got my, once again, carved shaving brush inside my Port Rexton Brewing Company glass that was sent over from Chris of Carved Shaving as a as a gift. So I've got that soaking in there. Not really for soaking your brushes in, but I don't really drink too much, so it just lets me use the glass. So I'm using the Carve Shaving 20ml Super Badger, which is a beautiful, gorgeous handle. You can probably see it better today with the lighting being a little bit brighter. Um, I've got the Carve Aluminium Coin in the bottom here, which has been blasted, bead blasted, the same finish as the razors. So I'm just going to dip this back in the water again, just flick out the excess and then straight into the, the dry soap. I haven't used Cooler Bar in ages. I haven't used the Australian Private Reserve soap in ages if I'm honest. Now this is pretty much version one or the first iteration soap base for Australian Private Reserve. I'm not quite sure what went on in regards to dropping the soap maker and moving on to Nick Bariga, who now makes the soap base. I haven't had the pleasure of using the V2 soap base yet from Australian Private Reserve. I just find the products a little bit pricey. I can pick up things like Holy Call, Holy Cow, Ariana and Evans and things like that, Phoenix Artisan accoutrements from Stray Whisker for not, well actually a lot of it's actually cheaper than Australian Private Reserve. Now this is essential oil based, so yes it is high quality stuff. The soap bases are great, but for me they're not better than some of the bases like Holy Cow and Ariana and Evans Grooming Department Vegan It is a great soap however I'm not shooting the soap down at all and the scents are beautiful Right, I'm just going to just dip this in the water one more time and then that'll be me done Got a really good load into this It's only a 20ml knot so you need to get a good load into this brush So there we go That's the brush heavily loaded. You can see it's pretty much down to the base of the hair. Oh yes, with the face. I've just had a shit, I've just had a shit. I've just had a shiver. I'm just going to scoop out the excess here from the top. Now it's a quite a hard soap as well which is nice, I do like that, that it's hard. Now I believe this is also a vegan base or a vegetal base, whatever you want to call it. I prefer vegetal because vegan makes it sound like a like a food. Vegan for me is a, a, I know it's a way of life for people. For some reason when I hear vegan, I think of food. Because it's, but then again, I think vegan is just no animal products, period. So it's not really anything to do with food, but that's just what my mind says. Rubbing this proto ladder. Now I was going to use the B plate, no sorry, the A plate today, but what I'm going to do with the carb razor, I'm going to be using, so I started off with the F plate, then I jumped right back down to the double A, so now I've went up to the E plate today, and I'll be jumping back down to the A, and then up to the D, and then down to the B, and then I'll compare them all with the final shave with the C, which has been my go-to razor for the last sort of three and a half, four months. Just start getting some water in. And again. And again. 
again. I'm going to go, I'm going to try and do my usual style of lather, where I just paint the water and keep painting it until it goes translucent on the skin. And you can see right through the soap pretty much, there's not much there. And then we'll splay the brush and see what sort of lather happens. So as you can see, it's starting to go translucent already. Just little painting brush this is it's got such soft tips it doesn't have it's got a scratch but they're soft I can't really explain it and it's not got a whole heap of backbone it's hard to get any backbone if I'm honest right well I would say that is pretty much translucent all over I'm just going to scoop that on there and let's splay this little 20 mil super bad you know it does feel lovely it's got beautiful face feel a whole lot more water, I can assure you that. Now, it's a really ergonomic handle, it's very comfortable to hold. It just sits really nice in your hand. I have to say the scritch over the last three shaves that I've used it has died down dramatically. Almost like the tips are either splitting, hooking, or just becoming softer from use. What I'm getting now is just a lovely scrub. And another dip. Oh, that was a big one. Cheeky little hair there. I don't actually think that was a bad hair. I think that was a chest hair. <laughs> I, I know, sorry. I didn't have time to put a shoe on, I couldn't be asked. This is whipping up a phenomenal ladder. I'm just flinging lather everywhere. Eh? It's a little, it feels like it's a slightly airy, but it's got plenty of volume in it, I can feel it on the skin. The menthol's starting to really kick in. The brush is absolutely chock-a-block. So here we go with the carb razor with the three and a half inch Argyle handle, which looks amazing. And I've got, let me see what weight it is. Pretty much down here in this corner, the E for the E plate. I haven't checked what the gap is on this, sorry. I should have checked before I came on, it's one. 1 point something millimetres anyway, I know that. And here we go, with the grain. I've got a Gillette spoiler in here. On its fifth use. I thought it had more shaves than that, but it hadn't. Plenty of blade feel, but it doesn't feel quite as aggressive as the the air plate did, which is nice. You 
still got to have a really light touch with it. Certainly a much closer shave from a first pass than I got yesterday from the eight plate, that's for sure. Plenty of residual slickness. As per usual with the Australian Prime Reserve. Here we go. Oh, that menthol is lovely. Yeah, there's definitely way less switch today. Number two is done, and here we go with pass number two across the green. efficient settings on this razor as opposed to the double A and the A plate or the double A plate at least so I haven't even used the A plate yet tips and see if we can get this ladder to go again. Good, this little brush. I didn't think it would hold enough ladder to be honest. Alright, babe. So yeah, it's obviously I don't get the same sort of volume of lather that I would get from a 24, 26, 28, 30 plus size brush, but it creates enough lather that gives you a comfortable, lovely shave without really wasting any soap in a sense. I overload the brush, which doesn't take anywhere near as much as a 24 mil.
very, very efficient. Does it need any real pressure on your skin? You've obviously got to place it on your skin and give it some, but the race is quite heavy, it's very agile, isn't it? It really does just glide. Now that's a super, super close smooth shape. I am finding, even though that's an E-plate, I used the F two days ago, and I used a very mild plate yesterday, which, in all honesty, didn't give me the best of shaves. It was just too mild. But, it was still a great shave. Now, I did get a little couple of little spots and stuff just under my lip here, and I think that's due to over shaving with a, with a, a milder razor as such. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yes. Crack and splash of cold water. And that menthol just invigorates your skin. So once again, that's another excellent shave. So comfortable, so smooth, very, very efficient. You feel the blade on your skin, you really do. Very similar to the feel you get from the R1 or even the R41 where you can really feel the blade on your skin. But for some reason, it's just comfortable. It, even though the blade's on there, it seems to protect you. I don't know how it does it. I don't know how Chris has designed this to work like that. But I never really feel these razors with these base plates. And, that, that I'm going to cut myself or I'm going to get myself in strife if I attack it at the wrong angle or something like that, you know. So I just really vigorously smash this brush inside a towel every time I use it and I can see that the tips on this, there's a few thicker hairs which I'm surprised about for a super badger. So it makes me wonder whether it is a true super badger. But the tips on it are starting to split on a few of the thicker hairs. I can see that already. A couple of little weepers here, but other than that, what a shave. Right, I'm just going to this on. splash this on now, let it dry in while I'm cleaning out the soap. And that is Cooler Bar Aftershave Splash. Oh, pure pineapple goodness. One, two, three. Three splashes of that, similar to what I do with. Whew. Now there's a much, much larger kick of alcohol. Oh, that scent's incredible. Wow. I mean, that is literally just pure pineapple goodness with a little slight hint of cologne in the background. It's a very fruity, very zingy, very summery scent. Spring, summer, boom, that's the stuff you want. Now, I've used three splashes the same as I do with Moil Grooming. 
because this stuff has actually got quite a lot of skin food in it as well now I would read it all to you and tell you but as you can see from the label the actual ingredients are written all the way around there and even with my glasses on I can't read it it's it was just impossibly small so I'm going to rinse the soap out Yeah, it's definitely a, it's a it's a soap set the cooler bath that I don't think I would do without the den anymore. I think if I ran out, I'd be quite gutted. So I'm hoping it releases it in the version two, and I most likely will pull the trigger on the V2 cooler bath just so that I've got some in reserve because it is an absolutely beautiful soap set, and the set for me is just incredible. Got a couple of little weepers. but other than that, that was a, a very small and grown hen. Believe it or not, that came after using the double A plate. I think over shaving all the time just gives me it gives you that run that risk of getting ingrowns and stuff. Lovely. Now I have to say, great splash, smells great, that initial zing with the alcohol is lovely, the menthol is there. But for me it's just not as good as Moyle grooming, it's not it's not got that same menthol kick. Right now it doesn't it doesn't feel as nice on my skin as Moyle grooming does either. For me, it's still a very high quality splash, definitely. It's definitely up there with oil grooming, which in my opinion at the moment is probably the best on the market that I've used personally. This video is getting a bit long, so I do apologize. So, Australian Private Reserve, cool bar, absolutely stunning scent, great performing soap. I love the label, I love the colors. It's quite bright, it's quite vibrant as the scent is, and it, and it works a treat. It's a great performing soap. The brush for today was the Carve Shaving 20 mil Super Badger, so it's not a very big nut. I think it looks lovely on the handle. I think it does actually look quite nice. It suits itself, if that makes any sense. Got the little carved coin on the bottom, and this beautiful hand-turned wooden handle made out of maple. I was going to say spalted maple, made out of maple that's been dyed and then stuck together, and then turned. And it's really, really nice. It's got a reasonably nice amount of weight. It's not super heavy at all. It's actually quite a light weight, light brush, but. It works very, very well. It's very comfortable to hold. You don't get any fatigue when you're using it because it's not heavy. The razor was the Carve Christopher Bradley razor with the three and a half inch limited edition Argyle handle, which from as far as I'm aware, there's only four in the world with the E-plate and the Gillette spoiler on its fifth use. And I finished off today with the Cooler Bar Splash, which smells incredible, feels incredible. And it does still leave an absolutely super post shave feel, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a crap post shave, it's an absolutely beautiful post shave from the soap and the splash, I just find the moil grooming just takes it up another little notch, but yeah, really nice, beautiful, well thanks very much for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did, so stay safe, drive safe, don't drink or drive and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a shave with the A plate, cheers.